Hello, Samantha. Good evening, all. Good evening, Lawrence. Evening, Tony. Good to see you. Tony's up the road just to Sheffield. I saw Tony today. So, deja vu. There you are again, my darling. Becky. Has Lynn, has Lynn got four eyes? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Lynn, you had your glasses on your head as well as yeah. So, sorry. My sense of humour. Oh, my God. You absolutely threw me for a minute then. I'm like, what, what are we looking for? What am I looking for? Okay, let's get everybody in. Jade, how are you feeling today? Good? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Yeah, brilliant. And how is the superstar Fenna doing? How are you getting on? Can you hear me? <coughs> He's trying to mute himself. Lynn, how are you? Are you good? Fine, thank you. Yep, 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 yep. What are we doing? Reading and close up today is that we've got. These are my reading glasses, these are my long distance. And you quite often see me wearing both of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to wear bifocals. <laughs> uh, Kevin, by any chance, have you got bifocals on? Oh, I don't know, mine's just ordinary glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, can't, I can't read on the screen or on paper if we don't glasses. So I can see long distance, not sure. Oh, bless your cotton. How is it down where you are? Lovely down here at the minute. Where is it you're again? Newton Abbott. Newton Abbott? Oh, well, I know yeah. who you are, but you know, why don't you tell everyone else? All right, tell everyone. Else. Lovely and sunny down here today. Yeah, blue skies, they've been out for me run. Gorgeous down here. Yeah? Brilliant, that's what we love. And how's Bob over in the USA? Can't hear you, my darling. I know you're awesome. Yeah, I can I'm here. I'm muted myself. I am awesome today. Fantastic. <laughs> we have to make every day awesome. Renata! Oh, bless her. <laughs> you didn't hide that one, did you, love? <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. Are you busy beavering away by any chance? I'm just busy. You're always busy, my darling, aren't you? Always, always busy. I'd like to have a little catch up with you in a couple of days as well when you've got a little bit of time. We will, definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll message you. I'll message you. And Leanne, how are you today, darling? I'm good, and you? Yeah, really, really good. Where is it? What time is it where you are at the moment? 11 p.m. 11 p.m. So that therefore means that we have three people on the call right now that are not in the country we've got Venna, we've got leanne we've got bob uh, it's just amazing having an international co um, company and an international team it really is nick and how are you you have to unmute yourself my darling you good i'm good i'm fine are you yeah yeah really really good have you been hairdressing all day today no day off today housework today Housework? Housework. I'm a, net net oh. I'm a networker. <laughs> <laughs> Housework? No. <laughs> Jill, 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 I know you've kept your camera on, but off, should I say, because I know you're busy just doing the food. So, mwah, lovely to see you, my darling, and I won't bring you on because you just sort of advise me. And Larissa, are you able to show yourself? <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Me, unmute yourself, my darling. For all of those that haven't met the rest of tonight, and I know there's a lot more of us on. Um, obviously, the rest is one of our our new new recruits. She's having a good good look at the company before she gets very very excited to work the rest. Especially when you you hear someone that's got a real good um passion for travel there's nothing better than someone that actually wants to help other people travel so as you guys all know we have got Lawrence with us tonight who's going to host this so I am actually going to start muting everyone if you can mute yourself and help me with that that I would really appreciate tonight what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to basics back to basics is what makes everything work the number plate on my car is K1 five five and then my initials sjg should i say that's my plate i need to put it on my car it means keep it simple stupid and this is exactly what lawrence is going to do tonight he's going to strip this back he's going to take this back to basics 
And when you take it back to basics, that means that everybody wins. Not just one person, absolutely everybody. So before we get started, have we all got pen and paper? Are we ready to go? Yep. Okay. I am going to mute my kiss. <laughs> Bob sending me kisses from across the pond. Mwah! Straight back at you, my darling. Right, Lawrence. Yes. Are you ready to take over? Right, I'm Samantha. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. Thank you very much for your time tonight and also for everything you've done for the team so far. The amount of work you put into this presentation is phenomenal. So with that, I shall mute myself and take notes. Evening, everyone. Um, for those that are new to Zoom, you'll see there's a chat section. We're going to start off. I'm going to need some answers from you all in the chat section, if you don't mind. So. Uh, let's get started. So we're going to start with a bit of an honesty session today. It's a good, good place to start. Why did you join P2S Travel? I presume it was to save money on travel, to travel more, and to get paid to travel. Now in the chat box, if that's true, could you put yes? And if it's another reason that you joined, could you put no? Please. I'm going to ask you another question. Do you agree P2S Travel was established in 2013, the headquarters in California, headed up by David and Adela Hart. It's a fantastic membership club and holidays appeal to the majority of people. If you agree with that, yes or no, please. Now, how long have you been a member of P2S Travel? If you could put in there one month, two weeks, three months, six months, one year, 18 months, two years, if you could type into the chat box how long you have been a member of P2S Travel. And you're not being quizzed on this, guys. It's, this is for your own usage. How many personal signups do you currently have? One, two, none, three, None, four, eight, nine, 12, 15. How many personal signups do you currently have? Big question, one of the honesty questions. Are you happy with those results? So let's say you've been in the company for 11 months and you have one sign up. Are you happy with those results? Yes or no? Now down, down to the basics. Honestly, guys, if you've not got three people to join your team in the first 30 days, then sadly, I'm gonna to say to you, whatever you're doing is wrong. If you've joined this as a business and you can't get three people in your first 30 days, then something you are doing is incorrect. And that's what we're here to try and help you with. So we need to show you how to stick to a proven system and why it works for a reason. First of all, before we get started and go into in any in depth, please guys, this is very, very important. Do not listen to the posers. If you wanted to become a racing driver and you wanted to become a Formula One racing driver, would you go to your granny to teach you how to drive or would you go to a specialist who teaches people how to race motor cars? They can both drive but you wouldn't, you would go to the specialist. So please, if you're gonna build a business, don't go to a poser. Don't go to someone who's pretending to have a big team. Go and ask someone like Daryl, go and ask someone like Sam, go, go and ask someone like Todd. Follow what they do, follow the interaction they have on their wall. Success, success leaves clues, follow the success, follow what they post. Do similar posts. You can learn a lot just by following what they do on social media. But please, really important, listen to the people who have built big teams. They've built big teams for a reason. The big secret. We know that P2S Travel is a fantastic company. We know that David is a superb leader. He has a fantastic business mind. We know that his morals are correct. We know that the business system works. We know that the commission 
is paid every single week and every single month. So what is the piece of this jigsaw puzzle that is missing? What's missing is your effort and my effort. That's the piece that's, that's missing. Because if one person can build a team of five people or seven people or 70 people or 700 people, they don't have any more skills than we do. They don't have any more brain power than any of us do. What they have is a system that they stick to and they work. And that's what most of us are missing. So your success is 100% based on your efforts. Guys, just on this, if I may say this to you, if you're only contacting one person a week and you're struggling for success, just have a look at how many people you are contacting and see why you're struggling for success. So let's go back to basics. If you do exactly what we tell you, if you do what the leaders of this business tell you, what you will be able to do is you will be able to build a su sustainable business. So, so when, when you get shown what to do by whoever shows you what to do, try and stick to the system because that system works. I saw today, I'm not sure who said it, so, so um, please, if you're on that call and you said it, I, I apologize, I'm just using it as an example. I saw today that someone doesn't want to introduce a new client, a new prospect to a presentation. The reason we introduce people to presentations is because the person who you edify, the leader you bring in to do the presentation has a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more success than you do. And therefore it's easier for them to sell and you and the prospect can sit back and listen. The moment that, that sinks in the moment that process sinks, sinks in you can make a lot of money we have a guy on this call, call on this current call called Werner Fuerfel the guy with the big beard Werner's realized this Werner keeps me busy all day long on zoom calls and he's getting lots of traction so yeah just make sure you plug in make sure you ask we will get onto zoom calls we will help you So start doing what works. You have to learn to do what works. Stop trying to do it your way. Your results currently prove it doesn't work. So whatever your numbers are, you know what those numbers are. We're not coming back to quiz you. But if you look at your business, if in the last eight months or nine months, you've only signed one person up, then there's something wrong with your system. If you've joined this business and you've signed 17 people up in your first three weeks, then you're doing something right. So just be honest with yourself. Very, very important to network marketing that you're accountable. It's important in life we're all accountable. But Eric Worre, who's one of the top guys in network marketing, he actually says the most honest industry in the world is network marketing because you get paid based on your efforts. Very important. This is the biggest single secret is focus on your three people. Once you've learned how to do that, teach those three people how to get three people. Then repeat the process, repeat the process, and repeat the process again. If you stick to that, just that process, you will make tens of thousands of pounds out of network marketing. You will make tens of thousands of pounds out of this company, it's a fantastic company. The, the product is not in question. It's how we take it to market, and I include myself here. It's how we take it to market. Our only hindrance is us. Our hindrance is not the product. So get your three people, teach your three people to get three people, repeat, repeat, repeat. Tonight, I'm really gonna, I'm gonna focus on starting a conversation. I've, I've been having a few chats to a number of you, and again, not picking on any one person, but starting a conversation is the single most important skill we need to learn. Now, now starting a conversation does not include spamming, and please, I, I ask all of you, don't start spamming people. That's not what we need as an industry. It's not what we need as a company. And, and it's very much what you don't need as an individual. 
So start by contacting your Facebook friend list. Don't spam them. Start by opening a conversation. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So what I do and what a lot of the network marketers do is, is we look for opportunities on Facebook. We scroll down our walls. And this is a fantastic tip for everyone. Scroll down your wall and look for photos which can give you opportunity to ask a conversation. Now, this particular lady lives in Sheffield. She took a photo of her and her daughter walking, which is obviously in a very beautiful part of the world with the palm trees and the thatch and everything else. And I had already read up and I had seen, so I'd actually read up on, on her post and I'd already seen that it was in Mauritius. But that didn't serve me. So it didn't serve me to just keep my mouth shut. So I had to ask her, hey Anushka, where is that or where was that? It looks lovely. Anushka came back and told me what the hotel's name and it's in Mauritius. And then you can read for yourself. I then walked her through a series of communications right down to the bottom where I then switched it over to personal message. So this is the whole trick. This is not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This is not, hey, Sam. And Sam goes, hi, Lawrence. And I go, Sam, I want to tell you all about my network marketing business because I want to sell you my network marketing business. That's not what we're doing, guys. That is not what we're doing. What we're doing is talking to the person, communicating with the person, a nice, soft, gentle approach, and slowly positioning the conversation. I'll show you another one. Gavin Fisher, he is based in Port Elizabeth. He stuck up a memory from eight years ago. I knew exactly where that was. I can see the name. I could search that on the internet, but that didn't serve me. So I had to ask a question. Hey, Gavin, that looks like a European water park. Where was that, mate? Gavin replies, Algarve, Portugal. Oh, I love Portugal, mate. Amazing place. He comes back. Best holiday ever. Now, yes, this is a slow process, but I probably got 60, 70, 80 of these conversations going on in any one day. All you're looking for is an opportunity, just an opportunity to then switch to personal messaging, to then go and see if we can get the, the next level of question. Here is one of, I see Lisa's just, just popped in. This was what a friend of a friend's post two days ago or yesterday. And the thing that drew my attention was the Disney park in the back. He's asking for sponsorship from a business. And all I had done was, hey, Ben, tell me more, please. Ben then told me more. I said to Ben, how about giving me a call? Ben then gave me a call. We've had a chat and we're putting a suggestion back to him. And I've done that on behalf of Lisa. That actually wasn't done on my behalf. But it just shows you how easy it is to open a conversation. Here's the last one I'm going to show you. Shane Solomon, friend of mine, friend of a couple of people on this call. He came out with a why start a second job when you can start your first business. So jumped in and commented. You can see down there, John Attridge commented. John owns a very, very big company called BBX. Steve Ottawa, one of the leading network marketers in the whole of England. Steve jumped on. Then Steve spoke to me. Then Steve said he's giving me a call. Steve's going to phone me tomorrow. Steve won't join us. I know Steve quite well, but it's just, it's getting it out there. So you, I work with like-minded people like Steve. The next time you think someone's suited to my business, Steve will refer that person to me like I will refer people to Steve. So this is your homework, please, everyone. And I don't want to see your homework, but this is your homework for you. Remember, this is your business. And you've got to treat it like your business. So tomorrow, I want you to do yourself a favor. I want you to find an hour. I want you to start 10 conversations on a friend's Facebook page. You can't do anything wrong. There's no right or wrong. Just start 10 conversations and see where it goes. And if I'm right, the day after, start another 10 conversations. And if you're starting to feel comfortable, 
start another 10 conversations because by Friday, that means you're going to have 40 or 50 conversations going at any one time. And then I just get, shake your head, either a no or a yes. I was showing you how to start more conversations. What is your diary like? Is it very busy or not busy at the moment? So it's very busy, Werner. Okay, there you see, guys. Werner, at the moment, is struggling to keep up. He's, he's working on about 12 prospects. And purely because he listened to the logic and we got him started. So, so you've got to get, because by the time you're a week or you're two weeks deep into this, you're starting to see the excitement, the enthusiasm, the interaction. People start to also feel it. And for some unknown reason, you'll see that other people's faces will start, pop, start popping up. So learn to talk to these people as a friend. All you want to do is have a conversation. And please, love photos. You've got to go on there and love photos. Don't like them. You've got to love photos. What I don't want to see, I don't want to see you going, hello? I'm waiting for that answer. And then, how are you? I'm waiting for that answer. Guys, look for clues. So someone's got a dog. What a lovely dog. What is his name? Your friend's going to reply to you. He's your friend or she's your friend. That food looks lovely. Where is that restaurant? Did you buy a new car? It looks lovely. What is it? It doesn't matter if I know it's a Ford Fiesta ST or it's a BMW 328. I'm asking what it is for a reason because I want them to communicate. But very, very important, don't get involved in politics. Don't get involved in any of the racism that's going on at the moment. Don't get involved in anything, whether, whether you think your religion's right or someone else's religion's right. When you're in business, you have to refrain from any of those sort of things. Okay, stay very neutral. So learn to keep them talking. What a lovely dog. What is his name? His name is Max. Oh, is he a Staffy or is he an American Bulldog? Doesn't matter if I know he's a Staffy. It doesn't matter if I know it's a Labrador. What I'm trying to do is get my friend talking. His reply, he's an American Bulldog. Then I go, oh, did I see you were in Italy a few months ago? And he replies, just before lockdown. So make sure when you do ask something that you ask and end it with a question or you start it with a question. All you're trying to do is extract information. You're trying to get them speaking. That's all you're trying to do. Important, try and get over to a personal message as quickly as you can. So you're just looking for that photo on Facebook as an excuse to speak to someone. So someone's at the park, they're playing on, on the merry-go-round. Oh, wow, Susan, how big have your kids got? How old is Sarah now? You're just looking for an excuse to start a conversation. Be patient. And then via personal message, COVID-19 has been scary. You guys coping okay? A typical reply will be, we all good. What about you guys? People will always come back with a question as well. Then I'd say, well, my wife was classed as a key worker. And this is true. And my rugby business literally came to a halt. Were you guys furloughed? Then my friend says, I was. But Debbie had, so I was working, but Debbie has lost her job. That is my opening. Sorry to hear about Debbie, but it might be a great opportunity for her to learn to work from home and spend more time with the kids. So it's a reinforcement as well as it's a question. I'm trying to lead it now in the right direction. So it's sorry. So, so now I've, I've shown empathy. Sorry to hear about Debbie, but it's not all negative. Every cloud has got a silver lining. Maybe she can learn to work from home. That way she gets to spend more time with the kids. My friend goes, yes, we are exploring options at the moment. The door is now open. Keep them talking. What are you doing? Wish I could work from home. Little things around exploring options. Do not try and sell to them. Your job is not to sell to these people. So what would I do in this case? Dave, I know you and Debbie are exploring options. Would you both be able to get on a Zoom call? 
I've started my own business from home and it's amazing. It's really fun. I've already made a profit and booked a holiday. 20 minutes, that's all I ask. And I will ask Samantha to join us. She's been involved for 18 months and she's enjoying fantastic success. How about Tuesday for that Zoom call? So all I'm trying to do, I'm not trying to sell to Dave and Debbie. I'm trying to say, Dave and Debbie, because I'm your friend, would you trust me to come onto a Zoom call? I'm then gonna edify Samantha. I'm gonna ask Samantha to come onto the call and then I'm gonna let Samantha do the presentation. It's really, really important to get your leader or an upline or someone else to do that presentation for you. This is what sells. This really is what sells. And not just for our company. This is the whole industry. The whole industry works like this. So follow the system. Duplication is king. Duplication builds big businesses. So that, that's really the end of this presentation. What I really, really want you guys to do is, is become accountable to yourselves. Become accountable. Say to myself, how many people am I working on? Write their names on a piece of paper. I'm speaking to Dave. I'm speaking to Tracy. I'm speaking to Sarah. I'm speaking to this one. And make sure you know who you're speaking to and make sure that every day you're filling that bucket up. You're filling the bucket up. You're filling the bucket up so that, that that bucket gets really full. And sooner or later, you will start to get sales. Sooner or later, the sales will start to come. I hope you all got some, some uh, benefits and some nuggets out of that. Tomorrow, we will start with a whole uh, a training on getting started. How do I now get started? I know some of you got started but we're gonna be going back to getting you started correctly. Samantha, over to you. Thank you, Lawrence, appreciate that. Um, in fact, you stopped sharing the, the system. I am, I'm just doing it for you. Oh, bless your cottons. I really can confirm exactly what Lawrence is saying. And the reason for it is, is today I took a very, very excited phone call uh, as I walked out of a meeting from Tony. I literally had to drive a little bit faster to get home today. And, and it was a pleasure. I, it really was. And I took a really, really excited phone call from Jill today, Jill Streeter. Jill, are you able to bring yourself on or are you guys still busy? Just put it in the chat if you are, it's not a problem, I'll just leave this anyway. What happened was this. Exactly what Lawrence has advised everybody to do on this course today is exactly what Jill has been doing. She has been networking herself in groups, not off her Facebook, not with people that she physically knows. She's actually been doing it with the groups now the beautiful thing about it is is that i got a zoom call from her today so 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 excited and she's just clicked off i bet she's tried to actually come on and i know the internet's a little bit iffy where they are but the thing about it is is this is what happens she was over the moon she's got somebody who is just about to sign up and they are bringing two people with them as well. And that is working the exact way that Lawrence has advised today. So if there is one thing that I could leave you with as we leave this call tonight, please do exactly what I've been asked tonight because this is the formula to success. Rather than you bashing your head up against a brick wall daily, what we're doing here is we're showing you how to be hunted rather than constantly hunt because these people will start hunting you because what will happen is, is there's going to be a domino effect from it let's say she's just gonna lost the signal there's going to be a domino effect from this people talk and what will happen is if say for instance lawrence has turned around and said lisa and lisa's got a really really i'm sorry but my dog has grabbed a toy and she's ragged it in the back so give me three seconds sorry. If you ever want to know it's live, yes, it is. So basically, what I am saying here is that what will happen is, is Lisa will have such a good experience of this, she will organically tell somebody else. So this is the quickest way for you to build your business, and it's the quickest way for you to get your referrals to it as well. 
So please, please do your homework. Let's see who gets the best hour tomorrow as well, because I'm going to be doing this with you as well. Don't think I'm not, because I'm the type of person, when we get dirty, we get dirty together. So I will see you guys all tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and we'll see exactly how it goes. And my dog's saying goodnight as well. So on that note, bye-bye. <laughs> bye, everyone.